The only other thing would be, well, let's say I didn't want a photograph as a background. If you didn't want a photograph, a good thing to do is to set up your layers in groups. Because once you start coloring things in Photoshop, especially like when I do my comic book pages, every panel is a group unto itself. And every group has upwards of 20 different layers. Say I have nine panels on one comic book page. That's a lot of layers. <laughs> uh, and you can get lost, and you will get lost with that many layers. You won't know. You'll have to go around clicking the eyes on each one like I'm doing here. Seeing what is, you know, oh, there's my blue, and I didn't know what that was for. You know, you, you'll get really lost. So here's how you do this. Click a layer, any one, doesn't matter. Go to the bottom, and you'll have this little manila folder icon. And if you hover over it, it says create a new group. Click on that, and you'll see it creates a folder that says group one with an arrow pointing down. Everything you want to go in that group, you can actually highlight. Click on it, drag it until it highlights the group one, let go, and now it's in the group. So I can actually click on, like, since I want all of these, I can click from one at the bottom here. I go to the top, hold shift, click on it, select them all. I can just click any one, drag it to the group one, and now they're all in there, albeit rearranged. So I can actually have to move this white back down to the bottom. So now, if I click group one, you can see that arrow that points you know right and down that expands and collapses the group so now I have no layers visible you know it, it, it saves me a lot of trouble hides things that I don't need you can actually also click on it double click on it to name it I'll just name my maglock because that's what it is I can right click on it go to group properties and actually assign it a color and you'll see the eye here has changed so all these layers that belong to maglot are colored orange so it helps to keep everything organized and so I can actually make a second group and I don't want it to be orange so I'll go to group properties again change its name to background change a different color and I'll move these layers into it so now I've got two a maglot group and a background group now I've got a bunch of stuff in there Okay, so for this background, I'm lazy. I'm not going to draw a background. It's going to take forever, and I don't want to waste any more of your time than I have to. I'm just going to show you as an example. I've got a couple textures open. I'm just going to move them in, and that's going to create my background. Okay, so this is, like, pretend I actually drew some trees, and... You know, they're, they're in the background right there. And that would be essentially how you would do it. The same way that I drew Maglot and added layers to color, you would do the same thing in a different group. I, I mean, and, and if you're not comfortable with the group thing, you don't have to do it. You could just have a million layers. If, if, if you can find your way around that, that's cool. If not, you know, don't worry about it. Um, but having it, it organized, I like things organized. And it's, it's good to have. But uh, the same way that you drew your character with uh, all of your character's color layers, you do the same to the background. You just, you'll have like a, a you know, the, the setting, you can draw all of that out, and then you can add all of the different layers for details and colors, and keep them separate. So the reason that's good is because, say I have my background, but my character, I'd rather him be over to the right a little bit more. I can actually just click on the Maglot background right here, click on my move tool, and move them all at once move every layer because I'm selected the folder. Now if I just wanted to move the nose, I could go in that folder and just move the nose. If I want to move them all at once, see I could just move the folder. And that's really cool and it's very useful. So those are some tips. Uh, I hope it's helped you out. Um, if you have any other suggestions or things you'd like to know, I can try to put that in a future tutorial. But uh, I hope that's helped every aspiring artist out there and hopefully has made uh, using Photoshop a little less daunting. It is overwhelming because it can do so much. Uh, so I'm, I hope this has helped narrow down you know, some things, helped you find things that you were looking for. And uh, yeah, just give me an email or something if you need to know anything else.